Hi everyone, my name is Angela Hart. I'm a Georgetown University graduate student. For the last year, I've been working my thesis, which pertains to the ramifications political film adaptations have on viewing audiences. In order to analyze the effects of film, I used the movie Recount as my case study. Recount depicts the 2000 election, Bush versus Gore, and how both Republicans and Democrats had to deal with the issues down in Florida pertaining to dimples, hanging chads, and how to go about the recount process. I dedicated a portion of my study to doing a content analysis of the film. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the opening and end scenes in Recount. While the audience is settling into the film, the film's reoccurring melancholy tone of a song begins to play. Director Jay Roche opens with the Butterfly Ballad. At that particular moment in time, the viewer may or may not remember that the Butterfly Ballad is what caused the issues down in Florida. If the voter wasn't able to penetrate the ballot completely, it counted as a non-vote. In the film recount, the Democrats are trying to have all of the non-votes or undervotes be counted. Roche opens on the Butterfly Ballot, and so this provides a general overview of what the viewer can expect. To put it simply, without the Butterfly Ballot, there wouldn't have been a recount and this movie would never have been made. It's a very strategic move on the production's behalf to open with this very controversial ballot. The opening shot shows the Butterfly Ballot. The end shot is where all the Butterfly Ballots end up. When I was conducting my focus groups, a lot of the members ended up referencing Raiders of the Lost Ark. At the end of Recount, there are boxes upon boxes that say Palm Beach County, which supposedly house all of the votes that were not counted. The movie begins with the butterfly ballot, and then the viewer is left wondering what the outcome of the election might have been without the butterfly ballot. The end leaves the viewer with a sense of wonder, curious about counting all the votes still in those boxes. In actuality, the boxes don't exist and those votes were destroyed, but the end shot leaves the viewer questioning what the outcome of the election truly was, and if those votes could have just been counted, then we would know the truth. Unfortunately, due to the fact that there was a certification deadline and a time issue, it wasn't a matter of simply getting votes counted. It was a matter of counting the votes within a given time period, and since the votes could not be counted within that time period, they ended up being cast aside. The actual facts of conducting a recount are very different than the emotional appeal that one may or may not have towards getting the votes counted. Recounts are a process that need to adhere to certain guidelines and rules, and there are certain laws in place to make sure justice prevails, and due to the fact that this was a presidential election, there was a set date that there needed to be an announcement by. No matter how many volunteers were in a county, unless those votes got counted within the given time frame, they were not going to be counted especially because you cannot have partial recounts. If a particular county was able to count about half or so of their votes, it didn't matter because it either had to be all of the votes or none of them because the numbers would revert back to the original findings. Counties could only report complete recounts because partial recounts were not allowed. That was not part of the recount process. If they were only able to do a partial recount, then the numbers reverted back to the original state. The end shot leaves someone wondering if their vote actually counted and so their votes ended up in those boxes, never to really be given much consideration again. The end moment where the camera pulls back to show all of the boxes that represent hundreds upon thousands of votes, people are left wondering if they did or did not count. The goal of the end shot is to leave people with an emotional state of curiosity and sadness for the Democratic Party. Hopefully people will take that into consideration and learn from their mistakes and ensure that voter tabulation issues do not occur again in the future. If you have any questions about my content analysis or how I went about conducting my study, please comment down below or contact me directly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Please feel free to reach out to me in the future.